Welcome everyone to this Windows channel and this is an updated video on the situation with the WPA2 Wi-Fi, um, the WPA2 Wi-Fi hacking that happened and, uh, and the vulnerability that it has. And um, well, you know, I'll have an extended look at this in the live show today, but I wanted to also update so that everybody kind of senses the um, where the importance of everything. So first of all, um, yesterday we, we thought that Microsoft would issue an update because they had issued a statement saying that they'll have more information about this later in the day, which led us to believe that an update was about to arrive. So they did issue a statement, but they also uh, did one thing, is that they mentioned we already are patched on Windows 7, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. You run these operating systems and you installed last week's patch Tuesday updates, you're all right because Microsoft already knew about it and fixed it. They were the first one to fix it actually, which is kind of interesting. Now, if you have run, of course, a Windows machine, that means that this flaw is not going to affect you. There's no problem there. So basically, you are safe and okay to go. Even if your router is not patched, your Windows machine is okay. So that means that you're safe from whatever they could do with that type of breach. Of course, if you have a recent router, it will be uh, good to check out regularly to make sure that you can patch the router, as the router also will need to be patched um, for even more added security. And especially because the biggest problem here is if your router's patched at home, it means your devices that connect together are okay uh, within your router because the router's patched. Um, the fact that the router's not patched means, okay, your Windows machines are okay because they have been patched, but if you use a, a smartphone, an Android phone on your machine, on your router, well, that is still open to the attack. You have an iPhone or an iPad and you update it to the latest iOS update, you're also okay. That is fixed. Android is the one that's not fixed and that's the biggest problem probably right now. The um, danger, where is the danger and how big is the danger? You know, we're talking about it. I read a lot since yesterday because I wanted to kind of, you know, have the full scope and the full um, the full idea behind this uh, this this flaw of WPA2. So one of the things we know is that at home, you know, unless you have a little neighbor that's really interested in trying to spy on you and stuff like that, the risk is rather low because I mean that means that you will basically just you know have the possibility that maybe a neighbor will try that, which is very low, honestly. And uninteresting because for the most part they'll just be sniffing the traffic between you and the router and if you're on a Windows machine even that will not work because the, the, the Windows machine will already have changed that uh, the way of communication thanks to the fix. It's really the danger is really in a public Wi-Fi. If you are on public Wi-Fi which already is you know a delicate thing. Public Wi-Fi's are often a place where bad guys will reside and go to because uh, frankly if you want to do something bad you want to try to get the most people possible so of course places where a lot of people meet are the places where the danger is high so public Wi-Fi is the dangerous place to go and public Wi-Fi should not be used on any device that is unpatched that's for sure and you know even that public Wi-Fi are always kind of insecure. There's, you know, a lot of things going on and you got to be very, very careful on public Wi-Fi. But now with this flaw, public Wi-Fi is zero. You don't use public Wi-Fi at all. Um, you know, use your own little cell connections. If you've got LTE or, or 3G or whatever, use that on your phone, even if it costs a little bit of data for, you know, emergency watching or something or you want to check out your bank account or whatever. Uh, don't don't do it anyways on a public Wi-Fi. So basically, what you'll want to do is just make sure that um, if you have a router that can be patched, check from time to time 
the manufacturer to see if they have a fix for your router, they have a firmware update. Recent routers will probably all be patched in the next few weeks. Uh, where it's more complicated is if you have old routers and old devices, those will maybe not be patched ever. So these are vulnerable all the time. But like I said, you know, a home connection, chances are rather low that somebody will do that because uh, frankly, you know, you have to snoop one by one each person that's connected to a Wi-Fi and that's on a Wi-Fi. Um, it's, it's not really interesting for the real bad guys that want to steal information about you. Uh, public Wi-Fi will be the place to not connect right now. So um, Windows people, we are safe as long as you've actually patched your system with last week's Patch Tuesday updates. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.